Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. This is Budget with Jess. In today's video, we're going to be budgeting my first paycheck of November. So if you're interested in this type of content, go ahead and keep on watching. So today, we're going to be budgeting the first paycheck of November. And it is my birthday month, so yay! Shout out to all the Scorpios out there. They hate us, but they love us. <laughs> so, uh... I will be getting my first paycheck. For those of you who are new here or never seen any of my videos, I do get paid bi-weekly, but I do split my paychecks in half. Um, I, my paycheck money or my money does vary because it uh, depends how much overtime I put or how much I didn't work, but I am a full-time worker. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, today we're going to be budgeting $831. Uh, I think... Did I miss any days? I think I did. I think I missed two days this paycheck, but I did put in some overtime, so it kind of evened itself out. I am excited for the next few paychecks because I will have a little bit of over more overtime than expected. So that is good. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be budgeting 831. Hopefully you guys are able to see. So now that Halloween is over, I did change up my decor here. All right, so usually what I like to start off with is budgeting my wallet. So whatever I have in my wallet. So I usually do it's about five categories. So let me write them down. Okay, I think those are it. So in gas, I'm going to do 40 this week. Groceries, I always put 50. Eating out, I'm putting 50. Personal, I'm putting 10. Uh, my dogs, I usually put 10 and then for Starbucks, I give myself $20 a week. Ooh, let me get my calculator. So this would, I think it's 180, but let's go ahead and count. Okay, so it's going to be 180 here. Sorry for the noise outside. So we have $651 left so then we're gonna go into my bills I like to do my wallet and my bills because as long as my bills and I have food to eat I am okay for the week so since I am a month ahead so these bills will be for December these are for December so I will I just unstuffed my bills for November and it will be in they're already in the bank so we're starting all over so Allstate is going to get 83. Uh, Edison, which is my light bill, is going to get 50. Subscriptions is going to get 33. Sorry for all that commotion right now. Self is going to get 7. Kick is going to get five. Fitness is going to get nine. Okay, I had to wait for the commotion to end because that was a lot going on. Okay, fitness is going to get nine. So I do split my bills into four. Spectrum is going to get 50. And even though I get paid bi-weekly, I still split them into four. It's just what works for me. I know I can just stuff them in the beginning of the paycheck, but I don't. Uh, Disney is going to get 67. Car wash is going to get nine. Pet insurance is going to get 23 and i mean these are bills that don't change and verizon is going to get 50 so i basically know what i kind of put weekly in these bills so let's go ahead and count it so this will equal to 386 So we have 265 left and I'm not really stuffing a whole lot after this. We're going to go into this black binder and we're going to stuff buffer. I used to have buffer in my wallet 
but now I keep it here. I might change it back to my wallet. I don't know. Uh, buffer, and then we're going to do fur babies. And I think it's going to be it, the ones that we're going to stuff here. And I'm going to put 10 in that one. I already have like a, I kind of do like a rough draft before I even do a budget with me, which is weird probably to some people. So we have 250 left. Okay, so then we're going to go into my white binder here. So we're going to stuff vacation because my vacation is at the end of this month and it has came faster than I thought it was going to be. We're going to add 100 on here and then car maintenance. I'm going to add five and car tags. I'm also going to add five. I don't want to get too behind on this one. And then, oh, and then my Manjaro on here. So we no, put it right there. I'm gonna add a hundred to it, and this is my medication that I have to pay for, which sucks, and it's quite pricey. So let's see what this. So this equals to two ten. So we have forty dollars left. And we're gonna go into my self care binder. And I do have a hair appointment next Tuesday. So I am gonna put, I think I have, I have 120, 40. So I'm gonna put the rest of the $40 in here. I don't even have enough for the actual appointment, but I'm gonna see how much I can put in here next week to see what i can do with that and that is a zero base budget so i like to do that even if i do have so many left over that means i will just go into my um, bank account buffer and that is fine this is all i am stuffing for the week i still do have an etsy paycheck that i'm gonna do separate just because i want to kind of keep them separate but usually my etsy paychecks or any side hustle i like to stuff like more fun things but it's going to go more into necessities. So I will do a separate video on that. Let me know if you guys would like a budget with me for that or just a regular cash stuffing. Um, and yes, yeah, so every I gave every dollar a job and this is how I like it. That way I don't just have random money laying around and I don't know what to do with it but spend it. And so this is it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and like this video. I will do the denominations because I still have the money for my as unstuffing so i will be uh doing all of that and then i'll be recording the the cash stuffy so again thank you so much for being here go ahead and like this video uh comment down below and subscribe if you haven't and i will catch you guys on my next video bye